What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about something that I think is one of the most important issues that humanity is going to face in possibly its entire existence. This is the science, the emerging science, of augmenting human cognition and the abilities of the brain beyond its natural genetic limits. The subtopic of this field that we're going to be diving into today is something called nootropics. Nootropics are basically supplements that you can take that through various different mechanisms in the body improve cognition or memory or attention or focus. This is a very broad set of terms to be throwing around like that and again research is active so you know if you disagree or if you feel like something I'm saying and this is incorrect there's tons of different studies out there right now uh, saying a bunch of different things but the general trend is this. Nootropics do improve cognition through various mechanisms in the body. And the one that we're specifically going to focus on here is one that is much more well-researched than the others, and that is the cholinergenic system. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter that has been shown to be very important in the formation of new memories of several different types, whether it be long-term memories or short-term memories or sensory or episodic. Uh, there's several different types of memories and acetylcholine seems to have at least some factor in all of these different types. Particularly, acetylcholine is very important to long-term memory formation uh, in an area of the brain known as the hippocampus. There are, are a few different mechanisms through which you can sort of augment the choline, cholinergenic system in your body that already exists. Uh, and the three ways that we're going to talk about in this video is one, by increasing your levels of acetylcholine by increasing production. Two, by increasing the accessibility by increasing the sensitivity of receptor neurons in the body, as well as three, by inhibiting the breakdown and reuptake into neurons of uh, unused acetylcholine to be recycled. One way you can improve the production of acetylcholine in the nervous system and in your body in general is by supplementing with something called choline butyrate. There's several ways to do this, but this is the one I'm gonna suggest because it's the one that I had the most experience with, and I've also found it to be quite, uh, quite helpful in my attention and memory and overall ability to focus. Uh, so choline butyrate can be supplemented in your diet, and you get a lot of it naturally, but generally not enough to be a nootropic substance. Choline butyrate is safe to take within the 750 to 2,000 milligram range. So there's quite a wide range there. I take normally about 1,000 milligrams a day myself, and I found this to be a good level of uh, focus and energy. I haven't tried diving in too much more to the higher doses, but you know, uh, it's reported to be safe, but I can't really tell you anything from experience. Another mechanism that can be taken advantage of to improve levels of acetylcholine in the body is by increasing the sensitivity of acetylcholine receptors in your neurons. This can be done by using a popular branch of nootropics known as the racetam family. Particularly myself, I enjoy taking something called Nupept. Nupept is a relatively new nootropic and has actually been developed in Russia and is in fact trademarked, which is quite fascinating to me that it's this substance that people, human beings actually develop to themselves that is now propelling themselves forward, not even just looking in the natural world, but actually creating their own substances to do this. And I think this will be a, a big first step in sort of the leaps forward that we're about to make in this department. Nupept uh, works to increase acetylcholine in the body, again, by increasing the sensitivity to receptors. So you can see by how supplementing both choline butyrate and Nupept, they'll kind of work together. You'll have more acetylcholine available and also have your acetylcholine receptor is able to be more sensitive to the acetylcholine that is present. The third way that we're going to uh, sort of implement this increase of acetylcholine levels in the body is by inhibiting the destruction of acetylcholine. There's a natural process called reuptake within the nervous system and generally speaking what it does is break down unused neurotransmitters to be recycled back into the neuron so that they can be used again in the formation of either that same one or other, even other neurotransmitters, just a natural recycling process within the nervous system. We can inhibit this to some extent by decreasing the availability of something known as acetylcholine esterase, which is uh, a molecule that actually breaks down acetylcholine. In the description of this video below, there'll be a link to a place where you can buy quality nootropic powders pure. I highly recommend taking these pure powders because you can then supplement them in the right ways, in the right timings, as opposed to taking a nootropic stack, which is just a bunch of nootropics crammed into a pill, uh, that often doesn't necessarily produce the best effects because you're not lagging 
Uh, you don't have the right time lag between the dosages, as that is an important factor. A few quick nootropic pro tips I'll just throw off in this introductory nootropic video is one, do your own research. I mean, don't just take my word for this. Look into it, look into some studies, read some actual you know, scientific studies. I hope if you're a scientifically literate person, read the results of some actual studies online. There's huge databases. Number two, again, try taking pure nootropic powders. You'll save some money and you'll also be able to get the best effects because you can take them with the best time leg and you should definitely look into what those may be depending on what you're taking. Tip number three is do not expect too much too soon. Nootropics are intended to be a daily supplement and are best taken as such. If you take a massive mega dose of nootropics before a big study session, you know it might help you somewhat, might give you a little bit of a buzz, but Taking them every single day for an extended period of time, you know, if you can commit to three to six months when you're starting out, that will give you the most noticeable results. So there you have it. There's the first steps you can take into the age of the superhuman brain, the age in which all possibilities are pretty much up for grabs, an age in which you can be a part of a new race of humans that is more capable than any generation before it.